What up, though, nigga? Welcome to Don Diva Street Stories, Volume 2. Nathaniel Nut Watkins. You feel me? You want the stories yourself? You got to buy the goddamn book. You know what I'm saying? It's issue 40, 10th anniversary, man. We about to get into this shit, man. This how it all started, my nigga. You feel me? This how it all begun, nigga. Check the storyline out, nigga. It's up for debate TV, man. You already know it's me. It really hurt me when they killed Stan. Nobody knew who to shoot. We ain't even have a plan. He sold me my first gun. He held my first son. If I was with him shooting it out, bitch, we the one. I shed tears for my niggas who ain't here. They tattooed and spit that real shit to remember him, bitch. I'm that dude. Catch a op and spit on his baby daughter. I'm that rule. Right at three o'clock, as soon as he get out of school. You killed my dude. I don't give a fuck about you. I hope somebody killed you in case I never found June 1990, Nathaniel Nutt Watkins, Richard Porter's first cousin, was arrested in Washington, D.C. with drugs, cash, and pawn tickets. He was later charged as a kingpin. C-11 was notified of Nutt's arrest because Nutt was a known associate of Richard Porter and Alpo Martinez. C-11 agents met with Nutt in D.C. and offered him help with his 20-year sentence to cooperate with the government. Nutt agreed and told the feds that he got drugs from Alpo and sold them in D.C. Don Diva investigated these claims and found contradictions in Nutt's allegations. That information allowed the feds to charge Alpo with conspiracy charges. An informant told the federal agents Alpo's whereabouts and connected several unsolved murders in D.C. to Alpo. They arrested Alpo with his wife, drugs, and money in the car. Alpo was first charged with drug conspiracy and money laundering. In a superseding indictment, the feds added five murders. He was a major prize, a big man in the Harlem drug trade. He knew the feds would be successful in prosecuting him and decided to cooperate. Among other murders, he admitted to killing his former partner, Richard Porter and dumping his body. Now let's get into this video. What up though everybody? Ozone Odin, Up For Debate TV. And you already know who it is when you see what you see, my nigga, yeah. Get your team Alpo Up For Debate TV wristband, man. You know you want one of these things right here, man. Get your team Alpo Up For Debate TV wristband, man. Get us clothing company at gmail.com. That boy changed that email on y'all. Hell yeah, I did, nigga. It's get us clothing company at gmail.com, man. That is where you will get all the merchandise you need from, man. You want a motherfucking wristband? Do you need a motherfucking get us hoodie, man? This get us originals hoodie right here. You want this bitch, nigga? Then all you need to do is hit that motherfucking email right here. Let me get a little closer so you can see that, nigga. You want this get us originals thing, my baby? All you got to do is hit that motherfucking email, man. Get us clothing company at gmail.com, my nigga. I'm gonna shoot you an invoice. You shoot that motherfucker back. You gonna get a grease lightning, nigga. And you know what grease lightning is, don't you? That's fast. It's fast, my nigga. You gonna get that motherfucker fast. You know what I'm talking about? Advertise with your boy, too, man. The information around. I ain't about to price everything. I got it written down, man. It's somewhere around this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I ain't voting. Get the shit, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Advertise with your boy, nigga. I don't even know how to vote, nigga. Advertise with your boy, nigga. You know what I'm saying? You see the prices, nigga. It's cheap. Other motherfuckers want you to motherfucking pay $200 a week. My shit is cheap. <laughs> Advertise with your boy, nigga. I get viewed, nigga. This shit right here about to get viewed like a motherfucker, nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Advertise with your boy. All right, now dig this here, man. I've been reading a lot of Don Diva shit, you know what I'm saying, I, as you can see, because I've been blogging, you know what I'm saying. Did I say Gettys? I think I said Gettys. October 30th, we launched, you know what I'm saying. But then, um, <clears throat> this is where it all started for Poe, you know what I'm saying. Motherfuckers talk that rap shit, and this and nothing the other about Poe. Well, what about motherfucking Nut? What about Nathaniel Watkins, Richard's first cousin, man? You know what I'm saying? That's the man that ran it on Poe. He said all this shit in the motion, nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's a domino effect, my baby. That's the only reason I did this particular piece right here. You know what I'm saying? Because this wasn't even in Al Poe's story. This is in Rich's story. You know what I'm saying? This is mixed in the Rich's story that they're talking about Helen Hall. You know what I mean? 
But at the same token, I'm glad that Don Diva brought this nigga up. You know what I'm saying? I had been heard about this shit anyway. You know what I'm saying? But I'm glad to see it etched in stone somewhere. You know what I'm saying? On paper somewhere or whatnot like that. You know, people were saying it. Motherfuckers had, had discussed it here and there. But I'm glad to see somebody checked into it. And like they said, they, they checked into it. What did they say uh, down the line? It said Don Diva investigated these claims and found contradictions in Nuts allegations, you know what I'm saying? And his allegations was that he copied his dope from Alpo and take it to DC to sell it. You know what I'm saying? And since he got caught in DC with his hand in the cookie jar, you know what I'm saying? What did he get caught in DC with? He got caught in DC with pawn receipts, drugs, and cash. You know what I'm saying? It was labeled the kingpin, man. He must have got caught with a lot of drugs, man. Cause pawn receipts, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? And he got caught with pawn receipts, my nigga. That don't make a nigga a kingpin. But they probably charged him like that to shake him and get him to do what he did. Who, who knows? You know what I'm saying? But that shit worked. You feel me? That damn show worked, nigga. Now, um, damn, I put my book up. <laughs> but, uh, uh, it's a, uh, C11 was notified. I don't know who C11 is. You know what I'm saying? Or what the fuck that is? CIA, DEAs, FEDs, what the fuck is that? But C11 was notified that nothing had got arrested and they went to holler at the boy. And told him, we'll help you off that 20 if you fuck over Alpo, basically. He was like, yeah, I'll fuck over Alpo. You know what I'm saying? See, don't nobody talk about the motherfuckers that fucks over Po. You know what I'm saying? Everybody want to talk about how Po fucked other motherfuckers over what? You know what I'm saying? Hurt people. Hurt people. That's all I'm trying to say. Hurt people. Hurt people, man. What Po say? Ain't nobody else playing by the rules. Where the fucking rule book at? Didn't nobody give them to me? You want me to play by some rules that nobody else playing by? Motherfucker snitching on me. <laughs> Motherfucker telling on me. How the fuck you think I got in this position, nigga? That's all I'm saying, dog. I wish they had a picture of this nigga for me to put up. They didn't have a picture of nothing. You know what I'm saying? But they had his information. And they said his information was fucked up. And then, then that's another thing. They said Don Deep investigated the claims and, and found faults in the allegations. Now, I wonder what those faults was. Because it... it it's feasible that he was selling dope for Richard. Especially after seeing that Big Boosie interview when Big Boosie was talking about Richard was the man Fritz had him going to everywhere, Virginia, wherever the fuck, ever, everywhere, hitting people off with coke. So it's feasible that he just didn't want to rip, want to rat on Rich and Fritz. And the next month, next best thing was Paul. Like, shit, oh yeah, I get it from Paul. You know what I'm saying? I ain't saying that's the way it went down, but I'm saying shit, that's a thought. You feel me? Especially with Don D. Now, Don D. ain't got no reason to much. They don't fuck with Poe. <laughs> they ain't got no reason to try to make him look good in this situation for no fucking reason. But them saying that they found faults in that man's allegations and whatnot kind of makes it look better for Poe. Like, shit, that nigga could have been lying. In my mind, you feel me? That's, that's motherfucking Rich's first cousin. He could have not wanted to tell on his first cousin and Fritz, nigga. And like I say, uh-oh, our Poe ain't family. I'm gonna I'm knock him down. You know what I'm saying? Fuck it. Y'all wanted him, I can give you him. That's where I get it from. I don't know. That's just my train of thought, nigga. But like I said, I just did this one right here just to tell y'all. This is where it started at, nigga. This was the first domino that fell, nigga. Alpo wasn't the first domino that knocked down a whole bunch. This nigga was the head of the bunch right here. Nut. The nigga nut, nigga. Nut so. Hit jumping off the roof and shit. Anyway. Hold on, hold on. Up for the big TV. You already know who it is when you get your motherfucking get us at getusclothingcompany at gmail.com, my nigga.